Hello, this is Alex from Cables.gl. I want to show you a really simple, really easy to use operator, which is so handy and I have no idea why I didn't cover this earlier or why I don't use it um, because it makes life so much easier when you're trying to simply add animations to your uh, value changes. So anything you change in a parameter panel for um, another operator that's uh, a value, so a number, uh, you can run through this operator and it will animate it and smooth it out. So the smooth operator is super nice, uh, great name and describes it pretty much on point. So I'm going to put it down here, right? And uh, we'll look at the parameters. Um, first, the description smooths out jumps in values. Super nice. And uh, in parentheses, it says average interpolation. So it will average the last and new value you feed to this smooth operator. And you can do it by changing it in this parameter panel, the value, or of course, plugging something in, which is what we're going to get into. Um, then you have this toggle and another parameter here called ink deck factor, and that's the increase decrease factor. So um, right now it's set to four and this toggle is not on by default. So what's going to happen is when I give values uh, to this operator that are higher than the last one. So for example, I have one and then I'm moving into three, right? It's going to use this factor of four. So it's going to smooth out the change over some time um, with a factor of four. And if I decrease the, these numbers or the values that come into this operator, it will also use this factor of four. But if I toggle this on, then I can set my uh, increase and decrease factor separately. So for example, if you click or mouse over a menu item or um, you, know, you want a color change or something like that, uh, once the user interacts with this thing or you, know, you send a trigger or you change the value somehow, it will maybe play it faster and then when you do another interaction, it will play it slower. So yeah. Um, long story short, let's try it out. So I have this rectangle here, this blue big rectangle. And what I want to do is um, change the width. And right now I'm doing, doing it in the parameter panel and it's changing. And then once I let go, um, it stops changing. And then when I change it, it changes immediately. And I want to uh, start designing maybe like a menu button and I want to see uh, how this thing will look so with some animation so i'm going to put down the smooth uh, operator it needs a constant trigger so usually um, hook it up to the main loop or um, yeah that's that's the basic usage of it you can of course like start um, doing different ways of triggering it but it won't really be smooth then so you'll defeat the purpose all right so Let's hook in the output of this operator into the width. And then when I change the value, it's smoother. And let's, let's go to the, the default settings. It's smoother, but I want to change this four to maybe like 20 or something, right? So now when I quickly change it, and if I select this text, um, uh, this, these numbers, and I just type in five, right? It, you can see this graph over here, and I'll try to do this again. So I'll go to zero. And then you see that there was this like gradual change from 20 or whatever I was at to zero. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing with um, smooth. It's super easy to use, right? And, and just to make this um, tutorial longer, I think I will try something we looked at um, before in another tutorial where we used user interaction to um, change values. And I used, uh, I think, trigger var number.
for this or trigger number. And uh, I also will use a mouse button operator. And okay, so left mouse button will set this variable. And uh, if you haven't seen the video for this um, uh, operator set, I definitely recommend it because it's not just for numbers, it's a whole other thing that you can also use with smooth operator or, um, well, yeah, mostly values you will be using with smooth operator, but of course you can like break out variables from uh, an array or something. Okay, so let's create a new variable and let's call it with uh, change. Okay, and the value will be, let's say one. So right now I have the, the flow, the trigger flow activated, that's button F. So if I um, focus my patch and press F, I can see like the flow of uh, my triggers. So now that I have the mouse hooked up to this um, trigger variable and I click, you can see that it flashes um, and I'm setting this variable. Okay, nice. And then what I'm gonna do is assign my right mouse button and I'm going to duplicate this with um, control C, control V, but I actually bound it to a mouse button on my billion button mouse. And I'm gonna set, is this the right? Yeah, so I'm gonna set another variable or yeah, I'm gonna set another value for the same variable with my right mouse button. Okay, so let's make this one five, okay? So now when I click, I change these variables, right? It's gonna be an immediate change from one to five. And then I'm gonna go to the smooth operator and uh, the value here, I want to control it with this uh, little setup. And I'm gonna click these three dots and assign a variable and select this with change variable I just created. And now when I click, it smoothly changes. Amazing, right? But yeah, so that's just an example of how you can use it. Of course, you can feed in um, values from somewhere else or you don't have to use variables. But anyway, I hope that was useful. Um, see you soon. Bye.